So Gary, bring me up to speed on the Maglev meeting in Greenbelt East. It seemed a little raucous, the, the bits that I saw. It, it was. Um, in a way, there was not a lot of new information. We basically had the two sides, a representative from Maglev, saying this is an important uh, new technology. Uh, it is cleaner uh, transportation energy as opposed to cars and uh, internal combustion vehicles. It will provide jobs both in the building of it um, and in the running of it. So that's the pro. The con, of course, which was the predominant uh, opinion, the, uh, the predominant point of view at the meeting is that um, it's not a great way to spend money, that the state should be spending money on uh, existing infrastructure, transportation infrastructure. Uh, there's concern about sound uh, of the train as it passes under our homes, um, concern about vibrations and stability of the soil uh, under which the tunnel will be built. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, and that it won't be useful or be able to be used by the vast majority of people. Mm -hmm. Those are, in a nutshell, I think, the two sides. Um, the feeling that I got was that uh, there's a credibility gap. People are just not believing BWRR. I think they feel like they've been uh, misled on other things, and I think that, that, that cynicism, there's so much cynicism and, and high emotion at this meeting. There is, and while that might be understandable, um, it's not always helpful mm -hmm. to get at facts, right. uh, at, at sort of the ground level uh, objective reality. There were a few people at the meeting who attempted to ask fact-based questions, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the Maglev representative pointed out the materials uh, that were distributed by the uh, anti-Maglev uh, uh, side uh, showed a picture of a house sunk in the ground and of an apartment building that was sunken. Um, and he pointed out neither of those had anything to do with underground tunneling. Now, Absolutely. You know, so there's, there's credibility on, on both sides, and if you have um, an objective opinion, if you have something fact-based, you ought to be able to just say it without, you know, resorting to emotion and almost maybe name calling. Right, right. I guess one of the arguments that, that the pro maglevs are saying that they can take cars off the road, but it seems like, um, like the cost of these tickets is going to be so high, it's really going to be for a small number of elite people. And so how many cars can that really come off? But David says, he said that, well, they're a business and they have to fill seats and they will do what they need to do to fill seats. So, yeah, yeah. Um, as technology moves forward in so many areas of life, there's, there's mm -hmm. pain involved, there's question, there's uncertainty and some technologies, wow, that's great and others maybe not so good and that's, that was part of the question, part of the discussion at the meeting last Thursday. Mm -hmm. Great, well, uh, let's move on to National Night Out. Um, Greenbelt had uh, staged this in multiple places around town. That's right. Uh, both uh, there was uh, right behind Beltway Plaza for the benefit of Franklin Park and also uh, Greenbelt Station. There were several locations uh, in Greenbelt um, East, Trom Hills Park, uh, Greenbrier, Windsor Green, and then there was one in Central Greenbelt at Roosevelt Center. Mm -hmm. um, and a couple of things that uh, are important to note. On the one hand, this is a routine thing. It happens every year. Is it, is it really news? Yes, I think it is news because A, it says we uh, can go out at night and have fun, mm -hmm. uh, ride a ride, uh, have some snacks, talk to people, laugh, learn about community things, A. And B, we're building relationships, uh, exactly. partnerships between law enforcement and uh, the community which is important and as as the editor of our paper which is largely a volunteer op operation you know we know that we residents we citizens in a, in a free and a dem democratic society we we must take responsibility for for example uh, publishing our news and we must take some responsibility also for our safe communities and so the national night out is a way to partner and to kind of take a hold of that mm -hmm. Well, and finally, the city has a new blog, which highlights, uh, I guess, what they call the lighter side of city news. Not big issues, but other things. Yeah. Yeah. 
um, and I don't want to want it to underplay itself. So it is, is lighter. There, it's not going to discuss budgets and what the council decided about uh, you know, this or that uh, topic. But what it does show you is the city at work. You know, what, what is uh, Public Works doing? What, you know, are youth events uh, dancing? In, in a way, it sort of overlaps. Uh, for us to do an article about it, it's sort of, uh, I'm, I'm publicizing my competition in a sense. Mm -hmm. and they're not. Uh, we work together. But it's, it's important to see uh, wh what, what government does and what our local government's doing. And if Greenbelters want to visit this, uh, the web address is in the paper, right? That's right. Mm -hmm. It's called the Greenbelt Weekly Roundup is the name. So they could, I think, through the city website or just uh, put that in a search engine and they would find it. So, and kudos to the communications office, to Bev Palau and her, her team for putting this together. It's, mm -hmm. it's really great. Thanks for bringing us up to speed on things happening in Greenbelt this week. Thank you.